Hello all, and thank you for joining the Software Hub. And today, what I want to take a look at is Pop OS. This is a Linux distribution uh, designed and created on top of Ubuntu by System76. Now, I really, really like Pop OS. I've been using Pop OS for the past two months uh, as my primary OS, both for work and for study. One of the things I find really intuitive about Pop OS is the fact that it just seems to have everything. Whether you are a beginner to Linux, or you are a power user, an expert user of Linux, Pop OS is for you. Now, I'm not saying this because this is any promotion of Pop OS. This is not a collaboration with System76. This is just my personal opinion since I, I'm a user of Pop OS. I've been using, as I mentioned earlier, Pop OS as my primary uh, OS for the past two months, and I really, really like it. Now, one of the things that I really love about Pop OS is the following. If we go to other places, you can see that all my computers on the network is listed. And this is primarily primarily important to me because it allows me to quickly access the computers on my network without doing too much. Now, look at this. I will try to access my MacBook. And just like that, I'm in my MacBook. I'm able to copy files to and from my MacBook. Just like that. This is one of the features I really, really love. And this is not a Pop OS feature. This is a Linux uh, File Explorer feature. Depending on the File Explorer that you're using, this feature will be there. Uh, I do believe uh, this File Explorer is Thonar, or a variation of Thonar. Thonar is really, really fam famous for this. It allows you to quickly connect to the computers on the network. Or another way in which we could connect is by entering the IP address of the device you're trying to connect to right here. So if I do the following. Uh, I'm not sure of, of the IP address of any of my computers, <laughs> to be honest with you, but uh, let me try 13. But in order to do this, you will have to do it to sage and then try to connect. I was able to connect a Jessica, but that's the idea. Okay. Let's see if we can take a look at the Linux on a wall is, in my opinion, built for older computers. If you have a computer that is not running as efficiently as you would like, then my advice to you is get Linux. Not necessarily Pop OS, not necessarily Ubuntu, but there are tons and tons of different Linux distribution out there that you could try. Uh, I, I believe one, one of the best uh, resources for finding the different Linux distribution is DistroWatch. On DistroWatch, it lists tons and tons of different Linux distribution. It gives you an overview and it provides you links uh, to the different websites where you can go and grab a copy of that distribution, whether it be a Debian base, uh, Red Hat, uh, Arch, wh whatever you like. Whatever you like, it's there. Get Linux. Linux is very, very uh, efficient on older computers. Another thing about Linux is that there is a different Linux distribution for different types of problems, right? Not every Linux distribution will solve the problem you're trying to solve. For me personally, for Software Hut, we have chosen to use Pop OS as our main OS because it has and it's capable of solving all the problems you're trying to solve, right? So if you feel like this one doesn't do it for you, there is tons of others. There is the Arch Linux based Endeavor OS. There is Manjaro. Uh, there, there's Ubuntu. Um, there's Linux Mint. You can use Linux Mint. You have oh, so, so many, uh, OpenSUSE. Whatever you feel like, check it out, uh, visit uh, DistroWatch to find a list of different distributions in which you could try out. Right. Uh, one, one thing I do want to check is if Utop is installed. No, it's not. How about Htop? Okay, they're not installed, so I'm actually going to go ahead and install these. Because these are stuff that I want on this computer, particularly. These are minus y flag. Just to say, hey, yes, I approve of this. Uh, I just installed HTOP. So I want to go ahead and install VTOP as well. And it does not have VTOP for some reason. Uh, 
Oh, do we have time? Yes, we do have time. So this list right here is just a list of different uh, talk commands. So I could try a talk. This will not install, so go ahead. And we install a talk. And let's try that command. Okay, that is installed. We can see the different running processes. Uh, we can see CPU usage, max menu usage. It is all there. Um, Pop OS does use, I believe it's uh, Pulse Audio or Audio Control. sessions uh, such as using Pop OS. Uh, so so such is the same for different Linux distribution as well. Okay, I see on um, this one it's actually running X eleven. So on my primary uh, I iMac it is using Wayland as a Windows system. But on this one, we're using a X11. It, it's not not much of a difference, not much of a difference between uh, X11 and Wayland. Not in my, my opinion, at, at least. Uh, my memory is not too much. I'm just using nine nine and a half gigabytes of memory. However, I'm do using a 2.5 terabyte. Now, 2.5 terabyte is actually the amount of uh, storage option on this uh, particular computer that I'm using. Uh, when you're using VMware, uh, you you often have that ability to create virtual uh, storage. So let's say, for example, you're using a computer that's just, I don't know, 500 gigabytes, right? 500 gigabytes of ROM. Using VMware, you, you could extend that using virtual memory and create a Linux environment that have two terabytes of ROM, right? Uh, such is not the same for for uh, RAM, because if, if you use too much RAM in your virtual machine, then there will not be enough left over for your host computer to use to be able to efficiently run your virtual machine. Uh, on Pop OS, they, they have their Pop Shop. This is the default built in package manager where you can go and download wh whatever option you want, whatever applications you're looking for. If you're a gamer, there's Steam. You could install Steam. Uh, if you're a programmer, there are tons of different programming options as well. You see Atom, Blue Jay, uh, also. Also, you, you, you could install uh, Snap using the command snapd. So let's see if Snap comes install on Pop OS. And it isn't, so we're going to go ahead and install Snap. So the command to do this will be sudo app install snapd. I didn't use my flags, so it asked me if I want to continue. Another thing I really, really love about Linux on the wall is that Installation of applications for the Linux OS in general is very, very quick. I, I remember using uh, Windows in particular. It, it takes quite a bit of time uh, just to install the Windows OS. Same goes for Mac OS. However, with a Linux distribution, you can get up and running. Depending on the Linux distribution you're trying to install, you can finish your installation within 10 minutes or sometimes less than 10 minutes, depending on what, what you're using. So Snap is installed. Let's go ahead and install the uh, Snap Store. So that would be Snap install snap-store root password and it will go ahead and install the snap store so whatever option you cannot find in the default uh, pop shop you can always jump over to the snap store and more often than not whatever option you're looking for is available from the snap store uh, you, do, you don't necessarily have to install snap store you can always visit the web version of the snap store and get the commands and just uh, Type the commands into your terminal and run the commands and get the applications that you want installed. I personally just love uh, using the Snap Store on the Linux desktop. So while that is being installed, let's take a look at some, some of the pre-installed applications. We have Geary as the default mail client. Uh, you see, we have Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo. Uh, let's see if I can try this real quick. Pop 
example is do try to update uh, this. Very and in general, uh, I, I do apologize for the, the lags that I'm experiencing uh, during this video. But Pop OS is is very quick. Uh, I, I would like to compare, and I will do this comparison video uh, in a couple of days. A comparison between Pop OS and Linux Mint. Both are built on top of Ubuntu, so I, I, I will do another, another video and take a deep dive and look at the comparison between both Linux distribution and how they stack up against each other. So we're not yet done installing Snap Store. Uh, Snap, Snap Store, uh, on first installation, it does take uh, a few few minutes just to get everything uh, ready. But as, as soon as it's done, Snap Store will be re ready to go with no problem. So while that is being done, let's take another look. Uh, another application that I, I believe uh, as users you, you would want to install is the uh, Synaptic uh, pack Package Manager. Uh, that one. Uh, for me personally, it, it's been really, really helpful. There, there are times when I had to install different applications that have uh, different dependencies, and sometimes the dependencies uh, clash with each other. So, for example, I'm using one application, uh, I'm using two applications, but they have the same uh, dependencies, however, different versions of the dependency, and so that would, would cause an issue. So, one thing I, I find that Synaptic Package Manager is really good for is for changing the different versions of the application. So uh, let's say, for example, recently uh, I've had some issues with using uh, Teams on Linux, and, and so to uh, to quite to remedy, uh, sorry, to remedy that issue, I just uh, you know, downgraded uh, one version lower than the current version, and I, I was good to go. So that's very very uh, intuitive right there. Again, that is Synaptic Package Manager, and our Snap Store is installed. Uh, you will not see the option listed here in the launcher until a reboot of the system, but it is installed. We have our text editor. It's pretty standard text editor. Okay. Let me just get this going. Oh, let me just uh, ensure that SSH is installed. Let's do this. I do want to take a look. of printers. Uh, it, it was developed, I believe, by Apple. So one, one way to check this is to go local host and it will be 631. And yes, I do have Cups installed. I have version 2.3.3 of 2. I'm not sure if that's the latest version. I, I, actually, I do think it is the latest, latest version. I uh, do not have any printer yet. Uh, just a quick run through of Cups to install a printer. Go to administration, add printer, enter your password, and then you just go through uh, the save data. Uh, I really don't remember what we are in. But yeah, so you select a protocol that you would use. Uh, typically, uh, I tend to use uh, AppSocket and HP Vector. Right from here, it would be Socket. And then enter the IP address of the printer. Give it the name. Let's say HP Printer. So for name, you can allow any space. So from there, it will search for the printer. It found the printer. Uh, you select your make and model. That's important. Uh, I, I will not uh, finish this as I do not remember the uh, model number of the print printer we currently use here. But we have cops installed, and that's very good. Uh, again, go to the file manager, enter settings. Uh, if, if you want the if you want to be able to customize your Linux uh, desktop, I would suggest installing Genome Tweaks, as this is a Genome desktop. So you have Tweaks, Tweaks is installed. So from here, you will have the option to do your tweaks. Now, as you can see, there's no maximize options. There's only minimize options. So in Tweaks, just do that, and it will be able to maximize this button. In some Linux distribution, there is none. Uh, by default, Pop OS only comes with minimize, but using tweaks, genome tweaks, you can add the maximize option.
also uh, similar, similar to uh, most Linux distribution, you could do uh, actually I would use the do it instead. So we could go back to the my location, other locations, computer, do var minus u. We do have our terms. We have a tenor. So as I mentioned, it, it's built. It's built on top of Ubuntu. So the general setup would be the same as any other Linux distribution. Uh, USR, share. So if you if you manually want to install uh, new themes or icon packages, uh, you would go here. USR share, uh, and we can look for icons. Or we can look for themes. I'm just going to take a quick look at the themes. Then here we have Adwaita, Adwaita Dark. We have a default theme, Emacs, Icon Fast, Pop, Pop Dark, and Vi. Then if you want to change the themes. You would just go into the appearance, so you could use settings, or you can use uh, theme increase. Uh, this is extensions. On on a lot of Linux distributions, uh, extensions are actually built in to tweaks on top of OS, and that's not the case, at least not yet. So we could do look for files of Ubuntu. For Office, uh, LibreOffice comes pre install be definitely very nice uh, weather hat. You can install empty locations. Then Texas. As you can see today it is uh, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty cool. Pretty great. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, get a bit warmer. See you later. <laughs> getting really, really hot. Getting my hands very thirsty. Thanks a lot. So uh, another thing that I, I would show if we go to our calendar and th this is across uh, multiple um, Linux distribution as well. Uh, I'm not seeing it here, but one, one thing I've, I've noticed on uh, many different Linux distribution on the calendar, it will give you a very nice we weather widget. Uh, I'm not sure if it's something really set up manually. Yep, you can see here weather. Well, it, it's not showing me a Davidson dark maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, but it does show the right weather widget here. Usually it will show you a little widget of what temper temperature will be like for, I think, the next three, two or three days, uh, something of the sort. But yeah, Pop! OS, if you're looking for a Linux distribution that you would like to use as your go-to uh, Linux system, then I would suggest taking a look at Pop! OS because I do think Pop! OS have what it takes to be your primary uh, Linux distribution. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at bignutcoding at icloud.com. Do remember, like, subscribe, share this video, click the no notification bell to receive a notification of when we upload a new video. If you have any thoughts or inquiries, please just let us know. Let us know. Let us know how we're doing as a channel and do share uh, our, our channel with your family, your friends. If you have any coding questions, any software related questions, any hardware related questions, if there's a new software you would like to see us cover, if there's a new hardware you would like to see us cover, just let us know and uh, we'll do our best to try to get a review done on that.